Tunibu will be the third African president to be sacked by court at Tiku's camp. Welcome to the news and thank you for turning in to listen. Please subscribe to our channel. To get notified when we post our GC news update, please click on the notification bell. Following the largest ballot rigging of the just concluded presidential elections, the Atiku Bubaka's campaign council has said Nigeria would become the next African country to nullify a presidential election which produced the ruling All Progressives Congress, APC, candidate Bola Tenembo as president elect. Recall the Independent National Electoral Commission, INAC, declared Tenembo as the winner of the election days for protests by opposition parties. Opposition political parties who have since gone to court to challenge the outcome of the election. INEX failure to electronically transmit the result of election from 176,606 polling units to a public portal has, as mandated in the Commission's regulations and guidelines, formed part of a grounds for dispute for the parties that lost. Speaking in the twist, a spokesperson for Atiku's campaign, Diana Bala, is optimistic. The Nigerian's February 25-2023 presidential election will be nullified on the grounds of alleged ballot rigging. He added that Nigeria will become the African country to nullify a presidential election after Kenya and Malami. Supreme Court Kenya annulled the presidential election for the first time in Africa. This was what was said. This is indeed a very historic day for the people of Kenya and by extension to the people of the continent of Africa, said Bola. For the first time in the history of an African democratization, a ruling has been made by a court nullifying irregular election of a president. It marked a watershed in the continent of Africa that democracy would survive. After that, the Supreme Court in Malawi followed suit. Nigeria is next, save this post, he added. In 2017, Kenya became the third country in the world and the first in Africa to nullify a presidential election after Austria, the Maldives and Russia. The East African country, Supreme Court, declared President Uhuru Kenyatta re-election null and void, despite some international observers' rating of election as free and fair. Malawi's former president, Peter Mutrika, and Sachs was sacked rather by a constitutional court after being declared winner of a 2019 presidential election that was held in the country. The court annulled the presidential election results, citing evidence of irregularities and ordered fresh election to be held within 150 days in the rerun, Motorica lost to Lazarus Cha Quara. Now, the thing is, this news sort of remain. And he can't ask me, can't make me as if small Kenya. Kenya, well, that we, we refer to in this country, with the rates as people will be say, you know, you know, when you be person, senior brother, the rates, I yeah, know this person, not that person. But inside, you, you did it, and, but in, inside your mind, you did it, and say, I know, uh uh, this person, I'm uh, Julia now. At least a better person, but you know, reach the recent level. You just make where they overblow your trumpet, and you know, good made you overblow your trumpet. That means you don't get pride, and you don't even reach. <laughs> Imagine me getting a swell up when you see them for what? Eh? You get some people they use them when they play. Not same way you go talk, or you just bless me, Gary, they'll come the contest with a uh, Pamladian car. No. This time I'm just, it's just, I'm sorry, I'm using food. <laughs> now, this is by the way, but the thing is, it's actually welcome development. And I mean for Nigeria, who is being referred to as the giant of Africa. Eh? This giant of clay feet. He don't reach what we will live up to the title. It's either we live up to the title or we remove the title entirely. And you know, so nobody will go up the corner and eat in the street. So if you want to retain this title, Giant of Africa, we have to live up to. The thing is, we don't see ourselves as people who are supposed to be fronting. And we are supposed to. In this country, in this continent, we should be seeing ourselves as people who are supposed to be changing the face of Africa. For the good, for the better. They don't know Nigeria with enough of bad, bad things. That is what this thing I'm talking about. That is what this thing means. I keep telling people, you see this election, the guns, it, carried, it carries a lot of weight. There is a lot, it is pregnant with a lot of things. That is why I was wishing that this election be done in a free and fair manner. And the will of the people be given to them. Why? The whole world is watching. The whole world is watching how over 200 million people in Nigeria is being treated unfairly. They are mis- they are, they are talk no matter. You understand? 
it be like say we are, we can walk over them. They are watching. If they tell us we could do the right thing for the sake of our future generations, you don't need to enter into other countries and start shrinking yourself because why you're from Nigeria. But because of this thing that happened, for their mind they go see. They say now these people will be seeing where we then did and they know they did there. See inside their country, they don't even reach them. That is what it means. Make them do the right thing. It's going to save a lot. I am tired of hearing I am these I'm uh, people are people being killed, are people being maltreated because they're from Nigeria. I want to take me back to take me to the time where you're going to mention you're from Nigeria and you're going to be treated with respect. The way the uh, uh, what's it called the West now. If one person from UK, even if the person no get head or day, uh, you're from UK or US, they for country, for if another country, if anything happened to them, <laughs> anything heaven view for. Now I want to see Nigerians care for people. I want to see us when we step out. Huh? We have this, we have this pride back. We are not priding in ourselves alone, but we are priding that we have been able to change things positively in the continent of Africa. Not every time we are known for what is not good. We are known for the most corrupt. We are known for the most unsecure. Uh, what's it called? Uh, what's it called? Nation that, that, that kills, that spills blood. At least let them know us for something positive. That is what, that is where my argument is coming from. Make you now keep the, keep the dream in terms of the next president, either I like it or not. Okay. You are to go, I failed already. Your $50 million to bribe and it was rejected because they rejected your money. You think others can do better, can, can do you better. Okay, you think others can do you better? Go and sit down. Hmm. The bribery has been confirmed with enough evidence. So, Tunumbu bribe is bigger than a Tibo. Bribe. Chai. Go save us. Yes, now. Money pass money. They say what money cannot do, more money you do. But meanwhile, I still go with a good name is better than riches. There are places you would, there are people you see today. If it's the money, they don't have the money. But there is no way they enter that they're not going to get things done for them. They don't have money. Money is not their problem. As in, money is not their problem. They don't have it. Or should I say, money is kind of. They're still looking for money. To them, they're still looking for money. They're not where they ought to be. But anywhere they're going, if you call their name at places, ah, people say, eh, this man, you're this man's son. Ah, no, 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 come in, come in. You're this man's daughter. Ah, you're his granddaughter. Wow. And they kept telling you, oh, when it was this, it was this, it was that. He walked in, it this, it was upright. That the kind of Nigeria way we want. Nobody will be say somebody will not do anywhere. Come. Because in home money, they come catapult and put for where you're not supposed to. Hmm? All right, on this note, we've come to the end of the news. We say thank you for telling me to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of your day.